What else are ACC fans buzzing about on the interwebs? It's time for the buzz. Of course, the big story you're seeing right now on Twitter, Lance Armstrong reportedly finally admitted to doping in an interview with Oprah. Here's the thing. Now let's say all the cyclists are on performance enhancing drugs. Well, then he won seven Tour de France on a level playing field of sorts. I think the bigger crime people are working through morality wise, did he just how he just tried to destroy anyone who tried to tell the truth about him. That's why he could actually be in legal trouble with the Justice Department. But he's helped raise so much money for cancer research, right? The question we're all grappling with, does that outweigh the lying and the cheating? Another big story. We've seen Rory McIlroy is now a Nike guy. The commercial people are tweeting about Rory McIlroy and Tiger Woods. Watch. They stole the thunder at that wedding, right? They did. They <laughs> upstaged the bride. Who does that? <laughs> Cardinal rule number one. It's, it's, it's actually a really good commercial. It and is. the one thing I think it does is actually makes Tiger likable again. It's been a few years since I think people... You see him laughing. Yeah. He gets the last laugh. It leaves us with a great impression. It does. They're trying hard to bring back Tiger. and Rory McIlroy, easily very likable, the number one player in the world. It reminds me of the old Michael Jordan, Larry Bird commercials. Remember, over the Rafters, nothing but nets. Oh For those of us who are of a certain age, we remember <laughs> those seeing those that later. <laughs> oh, It hurts that you have no idea what I'm talking about. Maybe you saw the reports yesterday. The ACC is considering starting a TV network like the Big Ten or Pac-12. Now, I have no inside info on this. John Swafford has not invited me over to dinner to ask my thoughts. Not yet. As soon as we have, that's right, thank you. As soon as we have some news on that, we will report it. But what I loved had me laughing all afternoons. The news got ACC fans coming up with shows they'd want to see. The hashtag ACC Network Shows got so popular, it was trending nationally on Twitter. So we want to show you some of the good ones. Our favorites, the hashtag ACC Network Shows. Here you go, Teenage Mutant Ninja Terrapins. And we added a little special graphic. That's yeah, from VT Mike Brown. I like that. The Those Terrapins. uniforms they wear look a little mutant. We've sometimes. worked our graphics, guys. Thank you, Todd. I've worked in the Maryland flag there as well for Donatello like and Michelangelo, it. the other Italian artists. I, uh, Leonardo, Raphael. There we go. <laughs> we should have a Maryland. Uh, we should name them like Adrian Branch, John Lucas, Juan Dixon. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, you had Ninja Turtles, I right? did. I had three turtles. Those are my first pets and named them after the Ninja Turtles. All right. For UVA fans out there, let's go to the next one. The Key Play tweeted this one out. Who's the boss? Again, going back to my childhood, and it just brings back fond memories of Alyssa Milano. Come on, you're with me. <laughs> you're with me. She's a baseball girl. She I like is. Her. Uh, many of her past boyfriends were baseball players, so she is a big baseball fan, which also makes me a big fan of hers as well. What else now, did you see, Kelly? I've seen her throw first pitch, but I've never seen her shoot a hoop. But right. we know Scott Wood can, right? Scott Wood. I found this tweet. Yeah. It's a great show. Deadliest catch and shoot <laughs> hosted by Scott Wood. Are Scott you kidding Wood, me? I tweeted this out the other day, actually. The NC State is 20 and 2 when Scott Wood makes at least three threes. And so deadliest catch and shoot. Money. I like that. Let's move on to the next one. Blogger so dear. Leave it to Beamer. And that going way back. Leave it to Beaver. Beamer. Wow. I guess that makes Bud Foster Wally. There it is. There it is. Leave it to Beamer. I dig that. That's perfect. It reminds me of June Cleaver as well, who became one of my favorites, Barbara Billingsley, when an airplane, one of my all-time favorites movies, she translated a jive. That was, oh, wow. that was a classic scene. It was fantastic. <laughs>